Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Jellicoe Road by Marlena Marchetta. This is an Australian young adult novel that came out I think in like 2006 or 2007. I have heard a lot of really good things about this book and I purchased it as an ebook because Amazon had it as one of their daily deals. Liz from Lizzie Books was raving about it one day on Twitter and so I decided to just get started on it. The story follows Taylor who was abandoned one day by her mother at a 7-Eleven. Now she's at a boarding school and she is basically trying to just figure out her past as much as she can. She wants to find her mother and she's just trying to put together the mystery that is everything in her life. I went into this book not really knowing what to expect. All I'd really heard about this book is that it was really good and everyone should read it and I knew it took place at a boarding school but I wasn't sure if it was like a boarding school story, like a separate piece or anything like that. And it kind of is in the sense that all boarding school stories are basically just coming of age stories and this is definitely a coming of age story. I was warned in advance that the first 100 pages are quite confusing and that you just kind of have to keep reading and as the story unfolds it'll all just start to make sense and I was really glad I was warned that because it's true the beginning is very confusing and you will not completely understand what's going on. You are going to hear a lot of different character names and references to different things and it's just not going to make sense until later when the story and everything that's happening in this world gets fleshed out more and then you can start to put the pieces together. This book kind of feels a little bit like it's supposed to be a mystery like you're reading the story and as Taylor is putting together the pieces of her past, you are also putting together pieces of the past. At the same time as you are reading the story about Taylor and her friends and the things going on in her life, you're also getting a sort of parallel story of a group of kids who went to the boarding school. There's something called the Territory Wars that went on or goes on at this school. And I'm not completely sure if I really understood all of that. That may have been just me not paying as close of attention because I I wasn't really interested in that aspect of the story. I really just cared more about Taylor and her friend. Taylor is a really interesting character. You can tell that she just has a lot of issues because, you know, she was abandoned as a kid and so she doesn't really trust people and the people that she does have closest to her, she even tries to keep them at a distance at all times and she's very lucky because those people don't necessarily let her do that all the time. If I was to be honest, I would think that my favorite character in this book might have been Ben. He is just one of Taylor's friends and he is very underutilized both by the characters in the book and also I think by the book itself. I think there becomes a point where Ben just becomes less important to the storyline and he kind of disappears for quite a long time and I was very disappointed by that because I liked his character so much. Also the relationships in this book are a little bit confusing only because you kind of just have to understand that these characters all have a history with each other and you're like jumping into the middle of their history. Especially with Taylor and Griggs, there is a lot that has happened to them before the beginning of the book in the timeline of their world and so you don't understand everything that has happened and so you are just finding out bits and pieces here and there and then you finally get a complete idea of their relationship together and that can be a little bit frustrating in the beginning because you just don't get them right away but again by the end of the book all of it sort of builds on top of each other and by the end you have sort of a complete picture of these people by the end of the book i really did care quite a lot about these characters you just kind of want them all to turn out okay i ended up giving this book a four out of five stars on goodreads I was really close to giving it five stars because I did have such an emotional connection to this book but in the end I didn't because the beginning and especially some of the stuff dealing with the territory wars I felt a little bit disappointed in I suppose. I don't know if that was just the way I was reading the book. Whenever I read ebooks I usually have to read them in small chunks at a time because I only really read it at my breaks at work or on my phone and I don't like reading on my phone for long periods of time so that might have also had something to do with how the first half of that book felt to me. But again I did really really like it and I do consider it one of my favorites of the year so far and I highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in coming of age novels. So yeah if you've read Jellicoe Road feel free to leave your comments down below about what you thought of the story. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.
today I'm going to be doing a book review on Jellico Road by don't remember who it's by because I have a bad memory. It does a really good job, and I but I feel like Melina Machado. 